James Kaufman, World News Report, today, December 3rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a near-Earth object, a space rock, inbound for a very close approach tomorrow, December 4th, 2024. This information was just released by the JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Again, the space rock is 2024XH. 2024XH, and it will be passing between Earth and our Moon tomorrow on the 4th of December. Now, we are going to put this in motion for one day and watch it at its closest approach they look like they're on top of each other it's like it will be closer to the moon than earth now there's some problems with this rock this rock is 50 to 60 feet in diameter as big as a five or six story building this rock is moving at over 11 kilometers per second Again, this rock is supposed to pass closer to the moon than Earth or was earlier. It's also at a fairly good inclination. So the rock is large, it's moving fast, and it's at a good inclination. If it does enter Earth's atmosphere, I don't believe that it will burn up. It will cause a large explosion and will probably hit the ground. Again, that's if it makes it into Earth's atmosphere. Although it's supposed to go a little bit closer to the moon than Earth. So we're probably looking at 2024XH being a meteor that may or may not turn into a meteorite. We're going to have to look at the condition code. I know that this information was just released. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a bit of a strange one. The solution date was, in fact, today, December 3rd, 2024. Although they say they saw it November 28th, a five-day data arc span. That's quite a few days to only have 49 observations and to have such a high condition code of seven. Nine being highly uncertain, they have no idea where it's headed. Zero meaning they know exactly where it's headed. Seven being much closer to nine than zero. Forty-nine observations only over a five-day period. I've not seen anything like that before. This was spotted uh, by our automatic software, our AI software. And it is inbound. Let's get some close approach data. Remember that condition code is 7, so they're highly uncertain as to where this rock is really headed. Although it looked like it was going to be a little closer to the moon than Earth. Taking a look at our close approach data, we see the close approach to Earth is going to happen first at quite some distance. It's going to happen, i.e., tomorrow morning or tonight, if you will, about 1.30, 1.30 in the morning on December 4th. And it looks like it's going to pass at about a distance of 180,000 miles, which sounds like a long way, but some, most people think that the moon is within Earth's atmosphere. It's going to come, as you see, much, much closer to the moon here. And that close approach won't be for five hours until after Earth's close approach. So if the condition code wasn't so high, seven, I'd be very comfortable with this rock passing by. Let's kind of review what we have, though. So we have near-Earth object, space rock. Meteor 2024XH. 
actually going between the moon and Earth, close approach to Earth, about 1.30 tomorrow morning on the 4th. So a large rock between 50 and 60, maybe larger feet in diameter, as large as a five or six story building. It's moving quickly at 11 kilometers per second. It's coming in at quite an inclination. And the condition code here is 7. We will hope that it doesn't have a lot of friends with it. That said, we'll keep our eyes to the skies. 2024 XH coming inbound for its close approach tomorrow morning at about 1.30. Please share, please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro World.